Earlier, we told you about a number of inaccuracies Congressman Filner made in his statements about San Diego's port. Congressman Filner is running for mayor and has made expansion of the port central to his campaign. The congressman joins me now to respond. Thank you for being here. Alleged inaccuracies. Well, okay, <laughs> let's talk about that. You saw the story. Um, now, according to the story, you got a lot of stuff wrong. You know, uh, your so-called investigative reporter uh, is missing the forest for the trees. The single most important thing I said was that the single biggest area for potential growth in middle class jobs in this region is the port. That is the fact. And that we have to focus our political and technical expertise on raising that issue. Now, I said things like, you know, up until a few years ago, there was no commerce. Well, this is a new administration at the port. For a decade, they have been working on raising the commerce at the port. But if you go back, to when the port was at its height in terms of its revenue, in terms of its money, there was no commerce coming in. Well, he actually did go back. No, prior he went to back two, ten years. He, he actually back did go back years. prior to 2003, and I believe those numbers are about one billion dollars. After but, 2003, look, they hovered around four billion dollars. Let me say virtually zero. We have infinite but almost four billion and virtually zero. No, there is not four billion. That was in this administration. He Since goes back ten years. He goes back ten years. I said before that we. It doesn't matter how much. We have potential to double or triple or quadruple it. It doesn't matter how, how, how what it is. It's too small, okay? We have the potential for thousands of jobs, thousands of jobs, and we have hundreds. But so this is that's the point. But this is part of your campaign. Yes, Isn't it important to make sure you've got all uh, of those numbers right? The num you're, you're missing the forest for the trees. I understand what you're saying. It could be more. It, so when I say virtually zero... I'm saying that we have infinite way for expansion. That Didn't is the fact. Didn't you also say, show me a ship? Didn't that you is also a fact. say there were no you, ships? You tell me, you go down to the port today, you find me a ship that is loading or unloading uh, cargo. Look, you go to Seattle, you go to San Francisco, you go to Los Angeles, you go to Long Beach, you go to New York, you go to Atlanta, you go to Miami. There are sh hundreds and hundreds of ships there. Nobody would say that San Diego is a major maritime center. That's the whole point, that we ought to become a major maritime center. We are not. Now, nobody can dispute that. We want to become one. The new port wants to become, the new port administration wants to do better. A lot of people want to do better. And we are making progress. But why not say that the second time that he called you? Why not say, look? I you said know, that to it's, him. It's, it's, he did not repeat that. I said, look, you're missing my major point here. It doesn't, and, and you're going back 10 years. I may have been matter. going back 15 years. Look, there are, there are, you know, what people say about statistics. These are, the facts of the matter are simple. We are a minor player as a port in the scheme of things in the, in the nation. We should become a major player. We should, ha if we have hundreds of longshoremen, we should have thousands. If we have whatever billion, we should have t twice or three times that. That is the point we are missing. In San Diego, the chance to improve. And when I was on the city council and when I was a congressman, the, the administration at the port, the previous administrations, cared nothing about it. I went to them numerous times. But we're now operating under we're 2012 under figures. And I just want to jump in here and say this isn't the first time your campaign has come under fire. Critics, critics have suggested you've been sitting back and perhaps relying on your status as the lone Democrat to push you through the primary. And Joanne, I want to, I want to wait, show wait, you a couple wait, of Joanne, examples, stop though. right there. What does one have to do with the other? Now, you're, first you're, you're saying I got the facts wrong when I'm saying the key point Nobody is disputing that we have to expand the Maritime Center. Now you're saying something about the activity of my campaign. What's the difference? This is a key platform right. in your so campaign. What, what, what you're are the two on. So it has to do with your campaign. And I just wanted, because uh, <laughs> I'm sure you've been seeing this as well. So let, let's get this out. Let's address it. And you have a chance to respond. And I, was, uh, I mentioned criticism. I want to show you a couple examples. Now this one comes from the UT, UT San Diego, an article back in February 2012. Uh, uh, Craig Gustinson writes, Filner has yet to release any major detailed policy plans. He is prone to making wise cracks during debates more so than his opponents. His campaign began the year with little money and he has passed up numerous opportunities for free press coverage by largely ignoring the media and I will give you a chance to respond. I want to go to one other one. This is today from Twitter and this is Rachel Lang, formerly of the mayor's press office, now with a conservative lobby group, who says Filner has shown a glib unwillingness to dig in and learn the issues in this campaign but the job only gets more tedious if you win. This is one example. How do you respond to that? You know, the election is, I think, seven weeks away, approximately a little more. Uh, the voters will decide whether my campaign has been good or bad, not conservative blogs. Look, I'm challenging the whole power structure of this city in my campaign. I don't expect the conservative blogs uh, to approve of what I'm doing. 
This is going to be the biggest change in the, hist in the last 50 years of San Diego, where we go from the special interests who have dominated uh, City Hall to one who supports the middle class and all the people of San Diego. The, the jobs that we lost under the defense industry in this city, we were, became prosperous in the 50s, 60s, 70s on the defense industry. When, that, when, when they left, most of them, not all of them, it's not zero, in fact, but General Dynamics employed 60,000 people. Before General Dynamics bought NASCO, they had zero. I got to move on with no this. No but I, what I'm saying is that we, we will provide, we, we are going to provide jobs for the middle class and the support and I'll repeat, is still the single mo biggest potential for creating those jobs. I want to touch on the latest poll numbers because you mentioned this will be up to the voters. A new poll, Survey USA, conducted by 10 News, shows you're losing ground. DeMaio, 28 percent. Fletcher, 26. You're at 20. You're down. Well, look, these are campaigns, Joe, and we're going to each do our campaign. We have seven weeks to the election, and the polls will show how we're doing. Now, if the uh, Republicans want to think that I'm not doing anything, that's fine. So, uh, but, but, and if you don't think I'm doing anything, so what? That is, I'm running my campaign. I have won 25 elections in San Diego. I have always had less money. I have, in many times, been the underdog. Uh, and I have won. Are you so, going to change anything so about your campaign? So we have 25, we have won 25 elections. I know how to do this, and we are going to do it, and we will be in the runoff after uh, June. Congressman Filner, thanks so much for being here. Cool.